Hey, what's up, guys? Today I'm gonna be showing you how to perform SQL injection manually on a live website. So, I'll take you to the website where it's legal to test your skills, and that is test.php.com. So this is the web page. This is the website where you can legally test your skills. So before we proceed, let me tell you what is SQL injection. SQL injection or structured query language is a way of querying a backend database and pulling out information from that database. You type of set of string commands type of set of, type set of string commands on the URL in order to retrieve the information from the database. SQL injection can bypass a firewall and can easily affect a fully patched system. So uh, note that this video is for educational purpose only. So let's get started. <coughs> First step is the get method so get method is it will be like this where uh, php question mark cat equals to one or it can be um, php question mark milk equals to product or cat equal to two three or any kind of numbers or strings on the url so now that we know let's proceed on the second step checking the vulnerability so how uh, uh, checking the vulnerability is like very easy you just have to put a tick and then press enter and if it returns that you have a saying you have an error in SQL syntax blah 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 like this and that it means the site is vulnerable to SQL injection so let's get back again uh, so step two is the finding the number of columns using order by method so I'll order by method order by uh, one two three four five still looks the same it's all good that means Hmm, there are five columns columns and again we'll keep on adding until and unless we find the error no errors eight nine ten still no error 11 12 yeah unknown column to open order class which means there are only 11 columns and press enter yeah which means there are only 11 columns so <clears throat> we've got error at order by 12 which means only 11 records or you can say 11 columns now that we know order by 11 we'll try to penetrate the database using union base injection and find the vulnerable columns so in order to do that uh, Let's what did I mean, union select one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 
there are 11 columns so within that 11 columns we have to find out which are the vulnerable ones so press enter oh yeah and then it came out it's 7 to 9 7 to and 9 so 7 number column 2 number and 9 number columns are vulnerable so what <coughs> we have to uh, find the table names using this column numbers so what we do is just wipe the 7 number here and to find out table name just write table name uh, from information underscore schema dot tables and with this command it will show you the table name table names yep there you go here are the names of the table so you can find columns files process list routines statistics triggers views cards artists product users so user now we can also find the name of the database here oh, sorry database name database uh, yeah that would do just enter yeah and the name of the database is AQART you can also check the version of the database just type version and it will show you the version of the database 5.1.73 Ubuntu and uh, let's check for uh, password users uh, let's get the column name information scheme columns Uh, yeah we get the names of, the, of columns so ID data type command go to the bottom of the page uh, yep there we go there we go we can we have email address pass you name oh then username and password uh, we have to get the username and password so you name from you name so name you name from should be users damn we got the username test this is the name of the username username is test and now we can check out the pass pass from users it's test 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 is the password username also password so now all what we can do is sign up put test test it's already written here username test and password test but I've shown you how to retrieve the information from the backend database so you log into it that's it thank you for watching
Bye-bye.